On all corners of the earth, you'll find Mercedes built decades ago that are still going strong. Cars that are made to last. The machine has been for 20 million kilometers. The machine has been for 3 years, and for 30 years. You know that you get to your destination without any problem. What makes the car with the star so indestructible? This reduction is on the most was damals schon eine Revolution war. The constructors of Mercedes they reached to present the most possible quality. Keep it simple, keep it simple. Uh, as simple as you can. Uh, you can always do it uh, simpler. Tom Fisher is an extremely busy, in-demand vintage car restorer. But once a year, he takes the time out to embark on an expedition to Africa. And among his trusty steeds are Mercedes models built between 1968 and 1997. This was a kind of my hobby, uh, my second life. And in, in the winter time, okay. and I drove it down here from Europe from my workshop to my Western Africa, as uh, so through Morocco, Mauritania. Okay. Even if you go through the Sahara and uh, long distance, uh, that's uh, you know that you you will go to your final destination. The classic car lover has in-depth expertise on these Mercedes classics. And he knows exactly what makes them so reliable and indestructible. Comes from the beginning of Mercedes, the understanding of quality, especially in the Stuttgart uh, region. Why Stuttgart? Because that's where Karl Benz launched his pioneering automobile in 1886. Visitors to the German town of Einbeck might be surprised to see a Mercedes Benz from the dawn of the automotive era still out and about. And the oldest street legal car in Europe continues to impress today's generation of engineers. Dass die Teile eben so alt sind, dass es immer noch funktioniert. Dass es damals gar nicht schlecht war, was sie gemacht haben, weil es ist heute immer noch das gleiche Konzept motortechnisch. Und das hat eben vor 117 Jahren schon funktioniert, funktioniert bis heute. Ne? Das ist das Faszinierende. Und dann eben diese Technik, diese Verarbeitung, das ist alles sehr exakt und sehr genau gemacht. Man merkt also, egal was man anfasst, dass die einfach Zeit hatten damals. Ne? Dass das also nicht kaputt gespart wurde, sondern die hatten Zeit und haben es in Ruhe gebaut. All that expertise flowed into the iconic W114, the first Mercedes built for the mass market. Together with its sister, the 115, it sold some 2 million units. The next step in the engineering evolution was the W123. In turn, succeeded by the W124, built between 1984 and 97. Like its predecessors, it's regarded as the epitome of durability. As cab drivers like Luan Nina in Albania can testify with over 1 million kilometers clocked up. Peter Pfeiffer designed the next generation of the seemingly unbreakable car in the early 80s. Wenn Sie einmal beim B124 zum Beispiel sehen, war damals das Thema Purismus ein ganz wichtiger Punkt. Der B124 war ganz pure am Anfang. Ein ganz wichtiges Thema, diese, Re diese Reduktion das auf das Notwendigste. Keep it simple, uh, as simple as you can. The engineering is, is not limited uh, to any kilometer range. Um, they were built better than it, it, it should be, or it could be. Mercedes engineers at the time felt honored to be working for the world's oldest car maker and committed to building the best car on the planet. Mario Tyson from the International Federation of Historic Vehicles has inspected a wide variety of cars. For him, German quality is linked to German engineers. 50 years ago, the marketing, uh, marketing didn't play uh, a big role in uh, product planning and product decisions. 
so it was indeed the engineers on the R&D side and also on the production side um, who steered uh, the product, uh, the product range and product planning. Uh, and certainly uh, they looked in the first place about good engineering quality. A result of unmatched engineering, Mercedes built decades ago in Stuttgart that still just run and run and run. In parts of Africa, for example, where people are not in such a rush to dispatch cars to the scrap heap, the extended lifetime of a Mercedes seems to be well, practically infinite. Not only the quality of the car is uh, very, very high, but the um, method of repairment of these cars is, um, is quite easy because most of the components are simply mechanic. For Berlin vintage car dealer Burkhard Steins, fixing up models like the Mercedes W124 is a labor of love. As you can see, the engine compartment is um, not so full. There's mechanics. You can uh, work with very simple tools to repair them. The sparks, you can remove them in in a couple of minutes. You have here an engine without any turbo, not any boosting or compressors or something. And as a closer look reveals, the chassis is just as solid as the engine. Everything is oversized on the car, mechanically. Um, the, for example, the bearings here, and uh, you see it on the front axle also, this is also very, very heavy, everything. The bearings are bigger than needed. That is the whole concept of the car, um, to take the best material which you find. The end of the possibilities of using it is born in the construction of the cars. Until now, the 124 is is the, the peak of the Mercedes line concerning the quality. After the 124, the quality went down. The late 1990s saw the Mercedes-Benz bosses decide on a major change. The engineering uh, was, uh, was limited from the management. The concurrence uh, getting bigger and uh, all the concurrent brands, uh, they earned much more money. The managers, they were in the situation that they uh, have to bring more money to the shareholders. And bigger profits for some came at a cost at the production end. Suppliers were squeezed out to, um, to, uh, to offer products at a very low price. And if you, if you press a supplier, uh, you don't get the same quality like before. And today's models feature a growing amount of electronics, of course, which hasn't exactly improved their dependability. The modern cars which are produced now, they will find their end in about 15 or maximum, maximum 20 years. Different than these cars. These cars you can drive for eternity. As drivers from Albania to Africa and elsewhere certainly appreciate as they stick with their old school Mercedes models. Cars built to last forever, made in Stuttgart. What's your take? Feel free to drop us a comment.